welcome. This is Briscoe to Navajo here. And uh, I want to welcome you guys to this month's edition of Zombie Hunting. Okay, everybody. This here is going to be our target. What I'm going to do here is draw myself a zombie. So, there we go. You're going to need a head, a wild like so, with a neck. Kind of small neck, man. This will go down here. Uh, oh, I don't know what you want to do. Maybe he goes. He got. We're gonna say that his arm got chopped off right about here. So we're gonna make a little gooey spot, make a little bone protruding. And on this side, uh, uh it doesn't really look like a person here. Let's go with this way. Okay. And then, he's going, ah, his, his finger got cut off right here. All right. And this is our zombie here. And he's got the legs of a Yahoo, whatever. Oh, he's got the eyeballs. Then, ah, all right. Okay. Now, this particular zombie, the place where you're supposed to shoot him, is will you be shooting him here? No, folks. If you shoot him right directly in the chest, and most people will knock him out, but this one will not. What you got to do is aim for the head, folks. Aim right directly for the head, somewhere around this area. Right over here. And that'll give you a, a brain kill. What you want to do for a zombie is to shoot the brain okay now here's our zombie yeah and I'm gonna go set him up down the road over here right along the fence line so if you'll look over here let's see what we have here folks is our first target I'll be going after this guy this is Wiley Coyote my first shots have been doing okay but I'm gonna send a few more a little trick for you guys when you guys are uh, are out here um, target practicing and you just have a little log set up and you have a paper in front of it when you send your bullets through there um, it'll pierce a bullet and leave a hole it'll go straight through a paper what I've done just to just to for kicks and giggles and you know you guys can probably do this too take a second piece of paper as you can see I place it behind this initial paper so that when my bullets fired like say earlier like that my bullets were black here in that area oops right here in this area here as you can see black what you do is you take that and you just move that paper over a little and then you have a whole new green spot you can shoot at you can shoot at this for days and use the same target so a little tip for you guys okay what I've done is set up right along this fence line here I set up my little zombie man now he kinda looks like a midget compared to me but the head is in the right proportion so if I can get this head on every shot, then I'll know that I will then qualify to be a zombie hunter. So, this shot is about, say, six inches long. I'm going to say, within a little bigger than your fist. So, it's, it's proportional to your fist. If you can knock him in there, you'll be just right to go. Okay, here we go. This is set up. And our target here is good to go. And let's go do some hunting, people. Shooting. Okay, first shot. I'm gonna go after the. Uh, I'm gonna go after the wily coyote. So I'm gonna do three shots. All right. Okay, those are three shots there. It's always a good idea to pull your bullets out and make sure that there's nothing inside here. Safety sake, you know. Gotta be certified. Alright. Okay, folks. We're over here. I fired off three shots at Wiley Coyote here. It appears that the first shot has hit just above the head. Second shot is on the left eye. Well, proportional. If we're looking at, you know, perception, it's on the right side. But to him, it's going to be his left eye. The third one is just his left cheek. Now... As you can see here, I've marked out a little ruler, 
and it's about a two inch spread that I'm shooting. Okay, within two inches, and that's more than enough on a fist. So, I'll, I'll from there, I'm, I'm confident that my next shot will be uh, just right. What I'm doing here is I'm shifting this paper around again, put, bringing it back to where I'm, I'm just looking at nothing but green here. Okay, folks. Looks like uh, you can see right over there is my target. I'll be sitting down from this position. Now, again, my clip is in a safe mode here. It's out of the stock. And we're going to lock it load and fire a few shots right at our zombie. Now, all right. Let's do this here. This goes into the chamber. There's a little uh, little thing here that activates inside there. Closes. We have a live round. Put it into safe. Whenever you're operating here, you always put it in safe because you never know when the when the uh, dangerous end might be pointed at something. Always point the dangerous end up to the up to the um, sky or down to the ground. So, all right. Anyway, enough about that safety. Let's do some shooting. <clears throat> all right. Zombie! Three o'clock! Uh, no. Noon! <laughs> There's one shot. Two. Three. Four. Hey, that was a bullet fly. Five. Okay, we are out of bullets. Make sure, make sure nothing in the chamber. To set this into safe mode, because sometimes when you do this, it's cocked and ready to ready to rock right here. So to get this out of the way, you push the trigger down while you're while you're uh, doing this. Make sure there's nothing in there, and then from there it turns into safe mode, or there's no bullet in there. This is can pull all you want, and nothing happens. All right. All right, folks. Welcome back again. All right, now we're going to look at our results from our zombie shooting. And you can't really see this, so I'm going to use this. All right. First shot, few shots. They all seem to, seem to be uh, centered around the eye. It will be that left eye on this side. Perceptively, it's on your right, but they're left. Okay. I got two shots close together, a third, a fourth. The fifth shot is a little out. Kind of hit the cheekbone. So I'm four out of five on a zombie hunting. And the spread on this, we got about a four inch spread. So we got four inches on as, as far as our group patterns. This is about maybe a hundred feet away. So if any of these zombies ever come across here and try to get across this fence, we're gonna take them out. And they're gonna get stuck in this area. We're gonna knock the brain out. And they're gonna be dead zombies. Well, they're already dead. We're gonna be dead twice. Okay, now. This is zombie hunting. My name is Frisco de Navajo, and uh, we'll see you guys later. See ya.